In this video, I'm going to show you in Dynamics 365 customer service for the case entity or the case table, how do you assign an owner? Okay, now see the normal behavior. So this is the general behavior. So when you are in cases and when you click on new case, what happens is when you create a new case, the owner is by default your name, okay? Now you are the owner of this record. Now, what if you want this owner to be something else? Okay, for example, Teams, uh, one of the teams within uh, Dynamics 365 customer service. Now, again, coming back to Teams, what is Teams? Okay, now uh, if you go in the back end of Dynamics 365, now how to navigate is you can uh, click on the gear icon and go to advanced settings. And then once you do that, you will be navigated to the Dynamics 365 backend interface. Okay. Now under settings, okay, security, you go to security, you can go to Teams. Okay. Now Teams are basically a, a group of users or group of uh, like individuals or teams basically uh, allowing you to set up some permissions to the modules, like all the tables within your uh, Dynamics 365 interface. Uh, it can be a uh, like a user owned team. It can be an access team. So there are there are like numerous teams. Uh, now I'll show you how to create team. Basically, once you click on new, you will be prompted to type your team name and then uh, administrator. And then you can see the team tab. It's an owner team. It's an access team. It's a AAD security group or AAD office group. So there can be teams of multiple types. So I'm not going to go in this detail, but what I'm going to show you over here is like how to create a team. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, let me go back. Now, if you see here, I have already created team one, team two, team three. Okay. So let me create team four as well. Yes, so team four. And uh, let me put my name as administrator. and uh, let's say owner teams and i'll just save it okay and i can add team members within my team uh, if required so but i'm not going to do that now okay now once a team is created what we can do is this is very important you need to have like a, a relationship between this team and the case okay now i'm not talking about the actual relationship but really it's like once you add uh, a team to that case entity you need to have uh, some sort of rights to refer to this team. So what you can do is like you can go to manage rules and provide the uh, role name uh, assigned to that particular case for which the case uh, and for the role uh, which has permission to the case entity. Now, uh, for just a demo purpose, I'll just use system customizer <coughs> as of now and then I'll click on OK. OK, so I've created team four and then team four has uh, linkages to the uh, case entity to get it to get itself assigned okay so this is the groundwork we need to do now coming to uh, uh, the back end okay now this is the back end like if we go into the tables and if you go into teams again okay, the back end so I'm in the right environment now you will see all the listed team over here okay let me refresh it to reflect team four because we this team four we have just recently added. Now, once it is loaded, it will list down team four as well. Now, uh, if you want to assign a case entity to say team four, okay, or team one or team two or team three, what you need to do is like you need to go into the backend table and then look into a team column. Okay, so if you see this team column, okay then you can uh, use this say, say team one okay if i want to assign team one then i need to find the corresponding team id okay so i copy this uh, team id okay and we'll just keep it handy okay <clears throat> now how to assign owner to this uh, uh, for, for any ca new case you created to say team one okay this is just like we'll just go for hard coding uh, hard coding now and then eventually we can make it dynamic okay but to understand the concept uh what we need to do is first is we need to create a power automate flow now let's create a flow okay now the new flow which i'm going to create i'm in the power automate section 
and I'm going to create an automated cloud flow. In the automated cloud flow, I will say assign base owner to teams. Okay, and then uh, I will select uh, dataverse trigger, but I'll just uh, skip this for a moment. And let me search dataverse. When a row is added, modified, or deleted. Okay, so this is the trigger. Okay, because we want uh, the trigger to happen when a new case entity is created. Now, when a row is added, now what is action? Action is added. Which table? Case. Cases. Okay. And what is the scope? Scope, let's keep it organization. Okay. Now, when a row is added, modified, related, then what do we need to do? Okay, we need to update the record, right? So, we go to dataverse and we select update we say update a row now which table again uh, it's asking for the table so our table is cases <coughs> now which row id so the row id is the basically an id okay from coming from this step now if i click on dynamic value i'll just say id and then uh get the case unique identifier okay now this is the unique identifier now this all things are fine how do we change the owner here what do we need to do is you need to put slash teams slash and then the team id now the team id is the one which we copied from here okay here so let's copy again uh, say control c 49 f and i just place it. okay so this is team one basically okay now i'll save this record now if everything is configured correctly then technically on a creation of a case it should be assigned to a new owner so let me go ahead in the customer service hub app click on new case and put some case okay let me name it T001 and okay. And now the owner is Girish Uppal. Okay, I'll just save this. Okay. And we need to monitor the flow as well, like whether the flow is succeeded or not. So let's go back and find out what's happening with the flow. okay now we have seen that that flow has failed now the why the flow has failed is because it is uh tell, giving this error like principal team uh consider adding missed privilege to one of the principal user team okay now the item which we have added is 49f now 49f belongs to uh 49f belongs to say which one is that team one okay now what you need to do again i told you last time that you need to go into team one and then manage roles and then assign the system customizer role to it now let's see if it is assigned or not it can be any role but provided it has an access to the team entity the system customizer okay and once you're done with it that's it it's all good okay now again going back to the case let me create an, another case okay so the first one failed let's see what happens to the second one e02 save it now once you're done let's watch what happens to the owner over here after a while Yes, as you see, the flow is succeeded now. Now, if I go into case and then I refresh this, 
then I should see the owner is set to team fund. Okay. Now, similarly, you can, now this is a hard coded value, right? Like if you want team one, then we have hard coded this to team one. Okay. Now, what if we want to make it dynamic? Okay. Now, if you want to make this dynamic, then what you need to do is you need to, in your case entity, you need to create a control. Okay. Now you can edit the case entity form and you can create a control. Now that control will be a lookup to the teams table. Okay. Now I have already done ahead of time over here, as you see here, case team. Okay. Now here, if you see this look for case team, now if you click on here, then it will list on all the teams within your organization. So team one, two, three, four. Okay. Now how to uh, link this to the Power Automate flow? Now, if you see the Power Automate flow over here, now here uh, under update a row, we have said k slash teams this. Now we want to make this dynamic, okay? Now, in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to uh, get the value from the uh, from the dropdown, right? Now from the lookup. Now the lookup is basically k steam, okay? So here, once you are in this flow, what you need to do is you need to take and just remove this and select the dynamic value. Let's see, case team. Okay. Now within case team, you select the value over here. Okay. Now case team is a new control which we have added. Okay. Which is pointing to the team's drop down. Okay. And I'll just say click on save. Okay. Now it is dynamic. Now let's see what happens when we assign a case. Okay. So let's assign uh, for time being case four. Okay. And see whether it works or not. So you need to select a case team. So team four and case title is say C001. Okay. Customer is myself. I'll just click on save. And if everything works fine, then this the owner should be replaced to team four okay let's see if i click on refresh yes now it is reflected team four now, now we have made our flow dynamic so that's it folks this is how you uh, make all those changes within your power automate to uh, assign uh, an owner to the dynamic team okay now we have gone step by step approach what we have done is we have created a team in the back end and then we have grabbed the team ID and then try to create a power automate flow by hard coding the value uh, in the update row section under owners. Now this is the syntax slash team slash. Now once we did the hard coding part, then we also remembered one thing that we need to assign the roles uh, for this particular team. So we need to have some sort of a role given to this team, which also has a corresponding access in the case entity. Now once that's all is done, uh, then what we have done is like when the hard coding and all worked fine, then we made use of something called as a lookup column. So under case, we have created under case entity, we have created a case team column. And then that was pointing to a lookup. And from there, we have put up the ID or the value basically, and then correspondingly attached to this particular section in the power of it. Now that's when this is all done. Yes, this case will start assigning that owner. So remember one thing, whenever you create a new team, you need to make sure that you assign the role, manage roles to a corresponding role. In my case, it is system customizer, but in case your, in case in your type, it can be something else. I would recommend using a custom role for that. Okay. And once everything is done, then the system is completely dynamic and the case entities has an owner assigned as a team. Thanks for watching.